Hello and welcome to P.S. Such a Connection. I'm P. And I'm S. And tonight we're discussing episode five. Yes. Of The Bachelorette <laughs> JoJo's season. So I didn't have a lot of notes on the first half of this episode. Because Pam was in a blind rage. <laughs> I was in a kind of hate-fueled, um... You just, you just saw white, fiery... Yeah. I was living in a completely different world. But the episode starts out um, with Chad leaving, and everyone's, like, real happy about it. Mm -hmm. And then he goes back to the house, and he, everyone's like, Chad's here. And they made it last episode to be like, but wait, and he super murders everyone, and things take a, you know, turn for the worst. But what really happens is he goes in, he's like, really mad about it and they have this little chat this chad chat and um jordan kind of comes in like tries to take control like talk to him like a human being like we're sorry we did not see it from your point of view um are you sorry and chad's like no <laughs> um <laughs> and so then chad leaves and it's yeah. That's it. They talked for a little bit, and Chad did his Chad thing, and then he left. Um, but good came from this, because they had a protein powder funeral, where they scattered his protein ashes, and it was beautiful. They had guys on the balcony <laughs> holding his protein, and Evan, as much as I dislike Evan, when Chad comes back, he said... I hope he's not here for his protein. <laughs> I missed was, that. Okay. It was a good moment. Mm -hmm. It was a good moment. Um, but then the saga of Chad came to a close. Thank freaking God. Yeah. First of all, like, why do we even have to see Chad again if nothing, literally nothing happened during him coming back to the house? Like, if literally anything happened when he came back to the house, I wouldn't have been as hate-fueled rage as I was, because I was like, why am I still looking at Chad's face? He left. I don't care. Yeah. Nothing is happening. They're having a frickin' conversation. Like, I love drama. That was not drama. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. That was forced drama. He, like, held Jordan's hand too tightly. Like, they weren't on a good date together. Yeah. <laughs> like, nothing happened. And Evan, like, demanded money for his shirt. I don't know. Oh. I really hope they make him the Bachelor next season so that he gets paid for that shirt. Because he deserves it. Clearly. Clearly. That's sarcasm. Just to clear the air there. A lot of people on Twitter... So, well, just skip on Twitter. <laughs> people don't get me. It's People don't understand <laughs> our humor. Sad face. Um, and so they totally skip over Alex's one-on-one -on -one time because it doesn't matter. Um, and then the cocktail party where a bunch of cute stuff goes down. That I missed completely. <laughs> that Pam was still in a blind rage. I'm so really sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Robbie com has confidence and he like kisses her and that's cute. More on Robbie later from me. Um, James F. writes a poem. Whatever. Yeah. Um, Alex, I think, just talks about how awesome he is. Wait, w did he write that poem, or was it a poem written by someone else? I think he wrote it. Oh, really? That was a pretty was good, a good poem. It was a good poem. Um, yeah. It was solid. It wasn't like the rest of them that are like, you I are beautiful, like I connection you. <laughs> yeah. Together. And rhyme forever. with that. Um, so, basically what Alex does, because he already has a rose from his one-on-one -on -one time, He's, like, justifying why he's talking to her, even though he has Rose. He's like, I'm talking to you because, like, even though I have this Rose already, like, I totally still should because I like you and stuff. And, like, he was lame. While, um, Evan can 
gets more and more butthurt about like Chad being gone so now everyone else is the villain and he doesn't have somewhere to focus his insecurity so he's like ah, everyone um it's really sad um but the next thing that happens is the one-on-one -on -one. no is the rose the ceremony rose. <laughs> is the rose ceremony which we'll do all together at the end yes so so we're, we're skipping to the one-on-one -on -one. yeah Give it to the one-on-one, -on -one. which was with Jordan. Jordan, yes, mm, and that everyone drama. was like super mad about it. Yeah, really mad. I felt bad for Wells because he needs it. Yeah, that's true. She, I thought didn't he have a one-on-one -on -one with her though? I don't know. Did he? <laughs> because maybe he did, but he needs another one. I think it would have been worse for Jordan to have this one on one if he'd already had a one on one, but yeah. he hasn't. Yeah. And they oh I feel like they always at some point take their top person on a one on one. Like, like it, it just makes sense because you have to know what it's like to be with that person. That's true. Without anyone else around. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. No. Like not. I get why everyone was angry about it because clearly Jordan yeah. is gonna take this home. Like yeah. front runner. So I get it. But in like I understand why she chose him over anyone else. Yeah. Now while they were on the date, so they go on this boat and they go see seals and stuff, but while they're doing that, they're cutting back to the house with all the guys now kind of attacking Jordan, like, well, he's not really here for the right reasons. Now what I have on that is that I think literally everyone on The Bachelor goes on for some sort of self-promotion yeah. um so they can't really uh fault him for that um does he want to go on to get more famous maybe that doesn't mean he doesn't like jojo yeah that's true um but i don't know what do you think is jordan here for the right reasons i mean probably not but but if, if he falls in love with jojo i think that it's not a problem for him to be there yeah no how about, do you think his feelings are genuine? I do think his feelings are genuine. Okay. I don't... Like, I guess it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. But I would think that... Oh, I don't know. I just feel like it is genuine. Yeah. Like, they seem to be, like, really chill together. Yeah. So I feel like JoJo would at least pick up on something if she didn't think that his feelings were real. See, I find myself a little bit less in Jordan's corner and more in Luke's corner. Yeah, I don't know. I just... I saw you just got taller than me. I'm sorry, I couldn't sit back anymore. She's it was hurting. Hurting. Play with me. I'm winning. No. <laughs> now we're even. Um, not really, I'm still shorter than you. I'm sorry. Um, so then what gets brought up is this magazine article. Yes, that just happened to be. Yeah, no, we just found it. Um, a producer did not strategically place this in front of my face <laughs> <laughs> at all. Um, and it's about her ex. Yeah. Thoughts. I don't, so, I don't understand why they take it so seriously, because first of all, it's a tabloid, second of all, it's an ex, like, I'm not sure, like, I guess it's kind of the same as not believing when every guy in the house hates one guy, that that guy is awful, but at the same time, like, it's an ex, clearly, if they're unhappy with you, there's a strong chance that it could just be because they don't want you to have nice things because it was a bad breakup or yep. whatever. Like, exes don't usually speak well of the people that they were in a relationship with. No. So, why would you listen to an ex who's yeah. talking to a tabloid about... Yeah. And I want to say specifically like make a reference to when Jojo was on Ben's season and I'm assuming this is the same ex that th like 
almost at the end of the season. I'm pretty sure it's like Jojo and Lauren only or Jojo and two other girls. And this ex calls her like, I still love you. I want to talk to you and get back together. And this is a guy who calls her what on the show, like sends her yeah. flowers. Mm -hmm. He clearly wants 15 minutes of fame. And he's seeking that through jojo's association association with this sh television show yeah. and it's just like no otherwise why would you go to a tabloid yeah not to mention you get money from doing that yeah so like the he didn't do it for to let everyone know no clearly he didn't do it for that reason so I just don't know why they took it so seriously. Yeah. They just wanted more drama. Like, more that's drama. seriously it. They just wanted more drama. They didn't have anything with any of the guys, so they threw out this magazine. And, like, whatever. Exactly. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then the JoJo comes back from her one-on-one -on -one with Jordan. Like, I... Could not be happier. Well, okay. Nothing so could kill this. On movie. the one-on-one, -on -one, Jojo confronted Jordan. Oh, you're right. I totally skipped it. About meeting his ex, which I was a little bit confused about because yes. I thought that people didn't know who were coming on the show and therefore Jojo shouldn't have known that Jordan was coming on or been able to meet his ex or talk to his ex I feel about like him. The only... And supposedly they're totally secluded... Yeah. While they're on the show. Mm -hmm. So, the only way she could have met and known this person dated Jordan was if she knew Jordan was coming on the show before she was supposed to. Or the producers were like, hey, why don't you like spend some time with Jordan's ex? See, this isn't something I think you can pin on the producers, though. Yeah. Because I have heard reports that JoJo knew that Jordan was coming on the show. Oh, well, really? And that I also heard that they spent time together before the show started. Wow. But I don't know if any of that's true. Who knows? But it seems like it's more true if she did meet his ex. Yeah. And spoke to his ex. So, I mean, I feel like... They shouldn't have aired that. Yeah. We finding your plot yeah, like, holes. We know what you're doing. We know. Um, so then she confronts the guys about the magazine article. And she's in hysterics. Mm -hmm. Because this one stupid person that doesn't matter in her life anymore is like ruining her whole thing. And, um, and again, I think it just... Like... It's, it's just something for the drama because all the guys were like, we love you and we know yeah, that you're right. junk, so... They show them all going to her and saying, I don't... I think that was on the group date. I don't really believe the article. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I'm sorry. Yeah. This episode made me really angry. I'm sorry. It got better towards the end. Yeah. Um... So, sand surfing. Yeah. On the group date. That was fun. Yeah, I feel like they've done it before on the show. Oh, yeah? Yeah, either that or the challenge, because I watch that a lot. Um, but no, I definitely feel like I've seen people on a hill before sliding down. Okay, I trust you. But it's a really cool thing. Oh, yeah. I would love to do it. We had a chance to do it. We didn't do it. We kind of suck a little bit. We didn't have a sled. <laughs> would have been hard to do did see someone fall downhill. That was awesome. That was awesome. That's a different story. <laughs> um, anyway. So, I don't go ahead. So, really, the thing that I have for, well, I love Luke. I love Luke. I love him. Like, I love him. If I were on the show, I would have said to Luke at least a thousand times, I love I you. And a producer would be dragging me into the shadows. Yeah. Being like, no, you can't do that. You've known him for a week. <laughs> I'd be like, I love him. Don't understand. I know, mom. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the other thing I had was that Alex, like, needs to get his life together. Because he... 
said to her, maybe he said to the camera, maybe he said to both, he said, this is the realest love I've ever experienced in my life. And I kind of get where he's coming from with, like, those games that people play with, like, texting and stuff. I've never had that problem. Actually, yes, I did. I don't get that as a relationship. But I didn't have that problem in my last relationship where, like, we never texted. So I... <sighs> Saying that a reality show where everyone is filming you all the time and there are so many other guys there is the realest form of love you've ever encountered. That's either, like, really sad yeah. or just really wrong. So my problem with Alex... And the exact things you're saying that he's saying is that it sounds so forced and contrived and mm -hmm. fake to me. The only reason you say those things is to try and prove something. Like, like what me and her have, it's real. I, I, it's so... It's real. <laughs> like... <sighs> like... And that he's saying it to the... I just... Yeah. I don't... Alex is getting on my nerves. And like... So much. He's so... He's full of himself. He's egotistical. He's just being above these. Um, so Derek got the rose. Yeah, because he needed date. some validation, which plenty of people have done before. Mm -hmm. Have been like... It's not that bad in a group of, like, 20 people all competing for the same person to be like, hey, I just feel like I haven't... Yeah, especially if you have the first one-on-one -on -one date and it goes yeah. really well and you don't seem to, like, have that same yeah. type of feeling again. Yeah. Like, and coming off of a one-on-one -on -one date where you get to be with them alone, it... Mm -hmm. It has to be really hard to then go well, yeah. into a group date and, again, see everyone else. Totally valid. Um, and Alex is like... <laughs> um, and so, we'll, yeah. Yeah, that we'll happens. talk about Alex some more later. Um, so, Robbie gets the next one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. And I love it. I um, feel like Robbie's kind of a dark horse. We didn't get to see him. He's coming up from behind. Yeah. We don't know too much about Robbie so far. Yeah. But um, they go cliff jumping. Mm -hmm. And it's super cute. And he's like a swimmer. And like they kiss and stuff. Um, no, I really like Robbie. Mm -hmm. He seems like a good guy. Stand up fella. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Um, but he also tells her he loves her. It did come off of a nice, like, the reason I have to tell you I love you right now is because mm -hmm. I lost my childhood friend and I realize that, like, you can lose someone in an instant. That's so you true. have to tell them how you feel. That's I true. still personally think it was too early yeah. to say that. It was too early. Um, but I thought it made it better that he had that reasoning behind it. Yeah, it did. Like, and it also, doesn't come across as so, like, so, like, um, magic trick guy who was like, oh, we have to kiss now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and also, she didn't seem weirded out. She seemed like, yeah. she seemed like this guy... Maybe a little bit weirded out because she <laughs> she was taking she was off like, guard. Oh, I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. She was taken off. Which guard. is also, I think, because she couldn't say it back even if she yeah. felt it. And I don't. I think it's too early for her to feel that. Yeah. yeah, especially with like just the things I see with Jordan and Luke in particular. Like, I think she likes other guys for sure. Yeah, but um, like. Yeah, I don't think Robbie right now would be the one she would be like, I love him. <laughs> um, so yeah, then we have the douchebag moment of the night. Yeah, um, which I had 
as Alex attacking Derek for his getting the ropes. Okay. Um, good, because that is something I wanted to talk about. Not as my douchebag moment, but okay. I just had something to say mm -hmm. about it. Do you want to go first, because it's your moment? Uh, sure. Um, I mean, I pretty much said, like, it was just uncalled for. Mm -hmm. It's something that Alex is just full, so full of himself that he has to start attacking other people. And I think he's kind of becoming this new villain for me. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. Well, the only thing I really wanted to say was that I'm not really sure that Alex knows how the show works. Yeah. First of all, he doesn't seem to understand that there are cameras around him and that this isn't a real thing. Secondly, I don't think he understands that if Derek gets the rose, it doesn't mean that a rose is taken away from him. Yeah. Like, it's not... Like, if Derek gets the rose, and he doesn't get the rose at the rose ceremony, he wasn't going to get the rose at the group date. Exactly. If Derek wasn't there, it's not like, oh, Alex. Yeah, and if anyone else got that rose, Derek still would have gotten a rose at the rose ceremony. Yeah. It's just the way that she decides to give them out. It doesn't change who she's going to send home. Yeah. I don't think, especially since she said that it was so clear to her that she didn't eat a cocktail party. Yeah. Like, nothing would have changed. Yeah. And he was also, like, super mad that Derek wanted to talk to them at the cocktail party. We'll wait on that. Okay. Okay, oh, we'll wait. We'll wait. Um, uh, so, yeah, my douchebag moment of the night is... <laughs> the producer is giving those guys the magazines. Oh, God. Because they, like, ruined JoJo's day, basically. Clear winner, I think. And, like, what is the point of that? Because nothing came out of it except JoJo crying on camera for a while. So sad. And, like, it's something that, for the TV purposes, is just fluffy drama, but something that, like, clearly emotionally affected JoJo. Yeah. Like, she was clearly actually upset about it, mm -hmm. so, like, why? And for the viewer, it's not even that great of a drama, because we don't, like, I mean, I guess we could go out and buy that magazine. Kudos on them for promoting that magazine. But I'm not going to go out and buy that yeah. magazine and read what he read, so I don't know what they read. Yeah. Read what he said, so I don't know what they read, and I don't know what they're going to her about. I know they talked about it a little bit, mm -hmm. but you can't get an idea of why these guys are going up to her and saying these things with just them being like, well, he said something about them, you know, dating and, like, whatever, and her not being in this for the right reasons. Like, I don't know what he actually said in the article, so it's not interesting to me as a viewer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry about it. Yup. Um, romance moment. Romance moment. Mm. Do you want to go? You should go. That sounds okay. I had Luke at the very first at the first cocktail party. I guess there's oh, only one. Yeah. Luke at the cocktail party because he was so like passionate. God, I love him so much. He would just like stare into her eyes and was like. Every time he speaks, it's like a like a Nicholas Sparks film, mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah, um, it's bursting within my heart. Yeah, it's fine. I don't um, even like Nicholas Sparks movies, <laughs> and I would listen to yeah. Luke talk, if staring Luke into cast, his eyes all day. Yeah. Um, I so I'm gonna have it. to steal your romance moment okay. because I did not have one. Okay. It's fine. I'm sorry. I think that's the second time I haven't had a romance moment. Because <laughs> you don't care Listen, about love them. is dead to me. I don't... <laughs> um, I don't know. Drama. Yes. Yes. Drama. Sorry. Drama. I'm off my game tonight. Uh, so my drama moment was... And again, this is sarcastically... All of the guys reacting to... Who's his face? Derek calling the four guys out to talk to them because I don't care. 
I literally don't care how any of them reacted to it. <laughs> like, nothing in this episode was like, oh my god, that's so dramatic. It was like, wow, they're really trying to make this <laughs> very dramatic. Yeah. And, like, it was a little bit pissing me off, which is why I kind of clocked out for this episode. And I'm sorry about that, guys. But it just... Like... And then them being, <laughs> like... Alex being like, um, he basically just stole all of our time because yeah. now we're not having a cocktail party. Again, uh, Alex he doesn't know. That's not how it works. It's not how it works. Derek speaking to you for five minutes or however long it took. I don't care if it took 10 hours for him to talk <laughs> to them on that veranda or whatever it was. He is not the reason that the cocktail party was canceled um, and you don't have more time with JoJo. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure Derek canceled the cocktail party. <laughs> <laughs> it was Derek. I know they said it was JoJo's <laughs> decision. It was Derek. Um, like, JoJo shows up and she's like, wait, where is everyone? Oh, Derek's talking to them? No cocktail party tonight. Fuck mm. Derek. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, my drama moment was JoJo's article, but that corresponds with your douchebag moment. Yeah. Because poor JoJo. It was dramatic. I felt really bad that she was crying so much. Yeah. Even if she's just there for fame, she is there and she's feeling emotions. She's a and person. when you do that to someone, yeah, like that's awful. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> um, all right, everyone. So our connection count was at three today. Three. And Derek is keeping us alive. He is. Because Derek lent us two of those connections and he said such, such a, a connection. connection. Woo! Made us pretty happy. <laughs> such a connection. Um, but yeah, the cock the rose ceremonies. Yep. Let's uh, see who went home. So we're unceremoniously crossing off some faces tonight and we're gonna start with James F., who we love. We, we love, love you. James F. James F., if you're watching this, he's not watching he's this. He's not watching this. <laughs> I wish you were. Let's be best friends. Best friends. Please. Even though we're crossing your name off. Well, you'll, you'll have a special place. Where yeah. is he? A special place on our <laughs> board forever. <laughs> we're sorry, James. And then we have to cross off. Oh, we still didn't cross oh, off Chad. We didn't cross off Chad. We weren't sure he was gonna leave. Or Vinny. Vinny. Who Steph got very emotional <laughs> over for. Got really emotional. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not Vinny. He was just. He was there. Mm -hmm. He was a comforting presence. Yeah, he was a he was a rock that was keeping us all grounded. <laughs> he was the guy that whenever they showed him, I was like, "Who the heck is Vinny?" <laughs> and so to not Poor have Vinny. <laughs> so not now we know who everyone is. <laughs> it's really unfortunate. <laughs> all right, so Grant, I was really sad to see Grant go Grant. because he's pretty cool. He was also involved in exactly zero drama. And like he was probably that's really probably sweet. what <laughs> they were like down to earth. Guy. Is Grant the one? No, send him home. Yes. We can't have this. He's sitting out everything. Daniel, Daniel, damn Daniel, you're going home. Daniel got really Canadian towards the end there. And Evan. oh no, I'm not gonna cry at all. Evan, I hate Evan. Just, he looks so creepy. He's so awful. I was like, JoJo's keeping him around to to be creepy. I guess so. I don't, maybe they like felt something. No. No. They didn't. So do you have any predictions for next week? Um, I never make predictions. Alright, I think that, let me see. Um... Mm. Chase is going home. Okay. And maybe Derek. Okay. Um, I don't think Alex is going to stay much longer. Yeah, I don't think... I was thinking not... I think he's going to stay another week, though. I could see that. 
Because he's, like, their new villain. Yeah. But I just don't think... I wasn't even going to be surprised if he went home tonight. Mm -hmm. Just because, like... At first, I was thinking, well, he just got the rose on that two-on-one date. And I was like, well, the options for that two-on-one date weren't great. So I would go with Alex, too. But And I really liked Alex, to yeah. a point. And then it just changed. He changed. So, yeah. I don't... Maybe Wells. I don't think they've really had anything yeah. recently. I guess. I just don't want... I hope Wells does. I feel in my heart that there's more to Wells. I need him to bring his A game. Maybe if I was wrong and Wells hasn't had that one on one date, hopefully he gets one next week. And then hopefully he wouldn't go home. No, because remember, he Wells was saying I really needed that one on one. Oh. In the episode. You were blind. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. I like Wells gets a one on one and I think he gets the rose on it, and so he's gonna Mm -hmm. stay another week. Okay, that's what I. That's my I hope prediction. so. I hope so. My I really prediction. like Wells. Yeah, and is he the only one who hasn't had a one-on-one? Chase has. Um, I think he is. Him and Alex. Yeah. So I don't know. Alex is like the Michael kind of. Poor Michael. From this season. <laughs> <laughs> Michael uh, was a lot more likable, I think. You think? Yeah. He never did anything that pissed me off. He did attack. He super that attacked one guy. Ben. That was a little too much, but I don't think he did anything that made me too angry. Okay. Well, so that, and I'm really sorry again. Um, <laughs> blanks. That was our recap of the fifth episode of The Bachelorette, JoJo season. You can check us out on Twitter, where we live tweet every week at Such a Connection. And uh, we'll see you there next Monday. Maybe, because Pam's going to be away. Yeah, I'm going to be away. So you better be here. I'll be here. Um, Maybe we'll have to call, you know, you're going to have to phone in or something. Mm -hmm. Um, We're going to figure out a way to make it work. Um, But we might just have me talking about it for like 10 minutes. It depends. I'll do my best. I'm not sure how much cell service service I'm going to have. Yeah. Awesome.